They'll move us about as we desire. Your only real essentials, as I see it, are blankets, lots of them, warm clothes, and sketching outfit. I also recommend a rig that'll enable you to keep dry and sketch in the rain. Living in Algoma, there's a rich history that ties our magnificent rugged land to the art of the famous group of seven painters. Local playwright Wendy Hamilton has once again explored our local history to bring us a new play, Moments in Algoma. The play is a perspective into the life of one of the group of seven painters, Lauren Harris. Shaw TV was fortunate enough to get an exclusive performance of the play at the Heritage Discovery Center. I was really surprised when Kathy Fisher of the Ermatinger House and um, Tourism Sault Ste. Marie invited me to create a piece for American tourists coming in on bus tours, uh, something that would be an introduction for them to this area and the Group of Seven's relationship to it, um, and determining that Lauren Harris was really the one that came here, fell in love with this area, financed the trips, and made it possible, and he returned here for many years. The ample replenishing north. We spent one night in the Sioux, then bright and early next morning boarded the Algoma Central Railway. It's been um, the first time that I've written something where I've been incorporating so much of another person's writing and voice. Lauren Harris was very pro prolific about his own uh, philosophies towards art and um, what motivated him. And, and then try and weave together something that created um, the the, hopefully the emotional essence of what it was that made them come back over and over again to this area. Richard Gahu, the only actor in the play, has been tasked with portraying Lauren Harris, and for him, it's been a pleasure getting to learn about the famous Canadian painter. So much of it came from Wendy's writing. W.A. Hamilton is probably Canada's lost secret as a playwright. Uh, the direction of Sandra Fussell also helped me and spending many hours in the library uh, reading, looking at the pictures and also seeing that there's quite a bit of archival footage of Lauren Harris, much older than I am, but his own reminiscences um, in order to, just to get the feeling of how he spoke and be able to give as true an interpretation as I could. Kept at me though until, voila, I took a breath. And then another. And then, I began to cry. What's really fantastic in creating and working on these pieces, especially the historical pieces that are based around our local area, the Algoma region, is that we get to explore and learn more about our local history and how how fantastic it is and how rich it is. The Group of Seven changed the art world and changed art in Canada for always and ever. And that happened here. So it's something for us to really celebrate our place and time. In the inner place where true artists create, there exists a pure child. We love it. I love intimate theater. I love it. It seats 50 seats in here. And um, I love to go and see the big shows, but for myself personally, to write and create for an intimate space like this and a one-on-one -on -one with the audience is just where my heart's at. After hearing many positive reviews, Wendy and her team were glad to have been able to bring this play to life and hope to continue to perform it in the future. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Christian LeMay.